Darren, I'm gonna have trouble sleeping tonight. Yeah, Darren, I'm never gonna sleep again. Thanks very much. <laughs> Right. Well, guys, one thing I love about the rise of touchscreen gaming is the resurgence of the point-and-click adventure. And the latest gem is Jacob Jones and the Bigfoot Mystery, Episode 1. Well, darling, I guess this is where we say goodbye. Are you guys really sure about this? Don't worry, son. You'll have a wonderful time. I'll bet there are kids who die to be in your shoes. Now, summer camps are more of an American thing, but essentially what happens is, during the school holidays, groups of kids are sent away on camp holidays so they get to do things like canoeing and bushwalking and stuff like that. And in this game, that's exactly what happens to Jacob when his parents drop him off at Camp Eagle Feather. At the camp, you'll get to meet some pretty colourful characters. There's Idle Hans, the caretaker who wants to adopt a tiger to solve his gopher problem. And Mr. Grimmel, the phys ed instructor with serious anger management issues. Go in there without permission, and I'll make sure your life isn't worth the price of a popsicle to a penguin. Yeah, that guy needs to chill out. Naturally, you'll be spending most of your time with the other kids at the camp, and these guys gave me the biggest laughs. <laughs> I think someone might have a crush on you. And by think, I mean am sure. By might have, I mean definitely has. And by someone, I mean Candice. <laughs> yes, the quality of the writing is great. You know, I never found myself bored during conversations, which is a good thing because they take up a lot of the game. Almost everyone you chat to has a problem that they want you to solve, which is a cue for the next minigame. Guys, how did you find these puzzles? I like the variety. You'll be doing totally different things, from practical jobs like rolling a log off the road without squashing the endangered birds, to abstract brain teasers like illustrating ghost stories involving farmers watching out for were sheep. While I enjoyed the puzzle gameplay, I didn't think they made a lot of sense. Uh, take this one, where Jacob has to rearrange puzzle pieces to get his backpack out of the car boot. The challenge comes from figuring out how to juggle pieces between the boot and an even smaller area you can move them to. When you're taking bags out of the boot, since when is the area outside of the boot smaller? Well, Darren, what if they were parked on the very peak of a mountaintop? Then there wouldn't be any room outside the car. Yeah, or if someone had parked you in bumper to bumper. I mean, no space then. Yeah. <laughs> well, my favourite puzzles are the ones where you're really competing to satisfy a lot of different needs. Like slicing up this pizza for your fussy friends so one only gets anchovies and the other gets vegetarian. Anchovies? anchovies? Yuck! I did find some of the puzzles surprisingly tricky. So it's a good thing I could phone a friend for hints whenever I was stuck. They give you some helpful clues to narrow the solutions down, but they always stop short of giving you the entire answer. And I think that's the right way to balance it. Affirmative. However, calling on these friends requires phone credit. But to top up your phone credit, you need to collect soft drink cans that are hidden around the levels. Well, while I had a lot of fun with Jacob Jones, I couldn't help but wishing there was just a little bit more depth to the gameplay. Maybe some free-roaming exploration. That would have made a big difference. The personality of the characters and the look of the camp are both charming, so I really would have enjoyed digging deeper into this world. Instead, this follows a pretty straightforward path from A to B. And it does end on a cliffhanger too, so it doesn't feel like it has a conclusion. And that's because this is an episodic game, so there are more to come. And I'm excited to play the next one, so I'm going to give this 8 out of 10 rubber chickens. I liked it a lot, Hex. Yeah, I I'm looking forward to seeing what adventures Jacob Jones gets up to, so I'm giving it 7.5. <laughs>